Ravi Bapara scored a brilliant undefeated 115 off 94 balls to guide his Essex side to a comfortable seven wicket Yorkshire Bank 40 win with 29 balls to spare at the Keir Oval to move into second place in Group B with five wins from their eight games to date. Batting first after winning the toss, Surrey made a bad start as they lost Jason Roy in the fourth over as he edged Graham Napier to Mark Patini. With no chance of progressing to the semis, Surrey played a young team giving a debut to 17-year-old Dominic Sibley who had a game to forget as he retired hurt with a gashed knee after diving in to avoid being run out. He went off to hospital and Miss Vikram Solanke and Gary Wilson develop a strong second wicket partnership. Wilson made a slow start but at the start of the 16th over he pulled Timal Mills over the rope for the first six of the match. He and Solanke then made steady progress. Having just finished the group stages of the T20 competition, both batsmen had to remember that they didn't need to go hell for leather in this form and they took their time in taking the total to 79 at the end of the 19th over. But by then they'd lost Wilson, who on 31 shoveled a short ball from Mills to Ryan Tender-Scarter. Solanke remained, however, and he recorded his 50 from his 60th ball with this single, He'd struck seven fours in that time and was giving his youthful side a chance to shine in the last 15 overs of the innings. Zafar Ansari aimed to do just that as he deposited Tim Phillips over the boundary for a maximum. That over, the 28th, cost 14 runs and then Solanke and Ansari went after what they could as they took their side to 148 with 10 overs to go with more boundaries as the run rate started to increase just at the right time. But on 31, Ansari lobbed a simple return catch to Greg Smith, meaning that a new man had to come in and help out Solanke. With six overs to go, Surrey had 182 runs on the board, but they then crucially lost Solanke, who was out for an excellent 86 when he was yorked by Reese Topley. Tom Jewell then went way across his stumps and was bowled by Napier for five. And after another debutant, Thomas Curran was run out second ball. John Lewis was bowled by Topley for a golden at 209 for seven with just one over to go. But 14 runs were hit off that last over from Napier with Rory Burns pulling him for a six and a smart innings of 39, which came off only 25 balls. So Surrey made 223 for seven from their 40 overs, but began well with the ball in their hands. Tim Lindley put down a very tough chance off his own bowling, offered by Patini, who fell in the fifth over when he punched a short delivery from Lewis to Ansari in the covers. Hamish Rutherford followed in the next over, Wilson with a brilliant take behind off Lindley, which left the Eagles on 15 for two. That certainly wasn't the start that they needed, but they started to forge themselves ahead once that Smith and Papara came together. They began carefully, but then started to pick up the pace in what was a perfect partnership and a record-breaking one in list day cricket against this opposition. Papara looked in good nick, taking the total to 88 for two at the halfway stage of their reply, which still left a further 136 runs to get from the second 20. But with wickets in hand, they still had a chance. Papara nearly gave it away on 49, but was missed in the covers to get to his half-century from his 61st delivery. Next ball, Smith hit Gary Keady over the top for a maximum as Essex decided that now was the time to get a move on. A point proved at the start of the next over, the 24th, when Papara also cleared the ropes off Ansari. Ten runs came off the 25th over, leaving 102 to get off the final 15 and another six followed as Smith closed in on his excellent 50. That arrived in the next over with a nudge single off Lindley, which took the former Derbyshire player to his mark of 63 balls and innings including only two fours, as well as those two maximums. And more of those followed too, one from Bapara and this one from Smith off Lewis, who exacted his revenge next ball as Smith holed out for an excellent 77 ball 65, which had left his side just 56 to get off the last nine overs. The 152-run stand in 25 and a half overs had changed the course of this game. Smith's dismissal merely led to an onslaught from the Essex batsman. Papara was by now seeing the ball as if it was the size of a cottage and Ansari in particular had no answer to him. This shot took him to 99. 
and next ball his 100 was reached, his 8th in the one day arena. He'd moved from 89 to his ton in 3 balls to get to 3 figures off 90 deliveries in an innings including 9 4s and 3 6s. Papara is having a good one day summer both for his county and for his country. The over in which he reached his ton cost 21 runs with Tender Scarter finishing it off with a 4 and this 6 to make the result a foregone conclusion. The next over from Curran also went for 16 and that meant that Tender Scarter could bang in the final nail to the first ball of over number 36. Essex had timed their chase to perfection, 129 runs being struck in 13 overs to see them cross the winning line with ease. Papara ended on 115 from 94 balls with Tender Scarter racing to 20 as Essex won for the fifth time from eight in this competition this season. Surrey play again on Sunday against Scotland before both teams turn their attentions back to T20 cricket with the quarter-finals this week. Surrey at home to Somerset on Tuesday, while Essex travel to Notts on Thursday.